All right, guys, good old boy 32 here checking out. So what are we doing? We're out here and you may recognize this little guy right here. This is the JP uh, Piscicala or Carbine the GMR15. Oh, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna put this guy right here, the Primary Arms One Power Compact Prism Scope with the ACSS Cyclops Radical. Whew, that is a mouthful. So what I wanna do before we do this is I wanna unbox this thing and show you what we got. First of all, look at it right there. What does it say? lifetime warranty really really cool now the cool thing about this little guy is it is a one powered prism scope so what does that mean for me it means that i am not going to go blind trying to see the reticle also the reticle is going to be visible to me. Okay, well, that doesn't make sense. But in any case, we're gonna have fun with this. So this is the ACSS Cyclops reticle. Now, one of the things is I've done a lot of work with the ACSS reticle, but this particular one is brand new to me. So let's do this. Before we get started, we're gonna take it out. You've got the, the Vibertite. This thing's wrapped up and we have ourselves a fork wrench right here. And yeah, I love that these guys are using the uh, T-style wrenches. This is looks like a T6 or a T10, probably a T10, because those are the ones that I most often break. And I'm not sure what that is used to set. But in any case, the, here it is in all its glory. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So here's the Cyclops. Well, looks pretty normal. We've got, is, you know what's the funny thing is, is that I first started looking at this thing, uh, I was looking through it backwards because I'm so used to the controls being back here in the back and I looked up and I was said, wait a minute, something's wrong with this thing, the reticle's upside down. And for you, all you other Cyclops owners out there, let me know if you did the same thing. Well, anyway, it does come with uh, front and rear caps. One of the ways you can tell the Ford is it does have a little bit of an angle right here. As you can see, the diopter is adjustable, and that's important to us half-blind folks. We've got a plus and negative right here because that's going to bring that reticle into focus for us. The elevation and the windage are basically nice. You can see, well, I can see the up, I guess, is... Well, you know what I would have to do because I, I can't see very well is I would definitely have to take a picture of that with my camera phone phone camera and zoom in on it and I have to do that all the time that's how blind I am the caps are tethered and this guy right here is giving me a world of hurt now I'm gonna tell you something one of the guys over there TFB or the AR blog or firearms blog chopping block he took one of these things threw it in a tub for like a month and threw it out now I know guns and gear he's done the same thing he tethered it to a, a rope and threw it off of his uh, dock out there and uh, yep, it did pretty good so there's no need for me to do that but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this guy right here this is the JP pistol caliber carbine and I am going to go ahead and start shooting at some targets out here and there is a 100 yard piece of steel out there that I can barely see now I will tell you this uh, I don't know if I can get that thing to, let's see here, if I can get it to come in, because it is a prism. The reticle on this guy is a godsend. I wish, like, I'll get out. We could, and the red, when it's illuminated uh, during the day, I have not had any issues with it. Well, you can see, well, anyway, you guys get the drift. But uh, what an awesome, and, and I think the thing is, is I'm so used to shooting optics that are red dots. When I look through this, it's like a breath of fresh air. It is nice and clean. It's ridiculous. So anyway, what I want to do, I also want to test this out with a magnifier. I do have to happen to have the uh, primary arms three times magnifier. One of the things that, okay, yep, that is staked, so you don't lose that. You can also replace the uh, mount with other mounts, and we've got a really cool QD mount system for this guy here as well. And I'm gonna probably move this thing around to a couple other rifles. Now let's do this. Let's go ahead and put this thing on the pistol caliber carbine. I'm gonna zero it in so that we're banging steel at 100 yards with its PCC. And then 
later on, well, you may have already seen it. I'm not sure what the order of these videos are going to come out in, but uh, the, this is going to be on the PCC. But first, I want to see um, what is the availability or usage while we are uh, shooting this thing and maybe put a magnifier behind it because if you're shooting out to 100 yards, it does make sense. So let's go ahead and see how that does. Here we go, stand by. Damn, these bullets. Wow. All right, so <laughs> the uh, primary arms Cyclops. Okay, so here's the deal. The, uh, the radical in this thing is called a Cyclops. It's a horseshoe with a chevron. And then what you have are the ranging brackets underneath it. Now for me, this is a 300 and N radical, uh, but you can range with it, and then you can also set up where you want to hold over on with it a little bit. Uh, for me, the, the winning part is the glass. Uh, I could care less what reticle's in there, but honestly, the glass is where it's at. It's a uh, pretty decent tool one. There's not a whole lot of vignetting, not a lot of blurring on the corners. It does rush. There's a little bit of fisheye, not much. But again, for me to just pick up a rifle and have, without corrected vision on, and that radical being right where it's at, I cannot wait, wait to run this on a couple ARs. And we will be in the upcoming future. You're going to see it. Uh, if I had room or space, I'd go ahead and put a magnifier behind it. I know that you can adjust it to work with a magnifier. But the problem is, once you adjust the diopter, you move the magnifier out of the way, it may not come back to being ma uh, perfect for your eye. Uh, I'm just going to assume you got one half MOA adjustments on the rings. It was a breeze to zero in. Uh, waterproof. Seen this guy go get dumped in the water down uh, for a month at a time. I think between uh, the chopping block and uh, Guns and Gear, he's done a great job. <laughs> the illumination. You've got 11 levels of illumination. Uh, I have not, I didn't have any problems. I have taken it out in the full blown sun. I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, full daylight was no problem, especially right now. The sun's down, uh, but man, what a, a huge contrast. And that's another thing you get a, a it, it really, it just comes right out at you and you're able to get to it. Uh, if they would make this with the uh, ACSS micro dot, that would be the, the, the bomb, uh, absolutely. Uh, and I've, I've made my voice heard on that one because there's a lot of people out there whose vision is not perfect. And the prism scope does a great job at, well, it's forgiving for us blind people. So, um, yeah, CR2032 battery, whatever it is, those flat batteries, it goes right here. I mean, I'm not going to go over all the details. This thing's been out for a while. I'm just giving you my two cents. I do like the mount. I've got an ADM mount that's come, is here for it. Uh, we're going to probably mount this thing on top of an AK-47 here pretty soon to see what it's all about. But, uh, yeah, check that thing out, man. And the reticle is just awesome. I'm see you backwards. Anyway, that's it, guys. That is the primary arm Cyclops. I'll put the link to my website it's down below. If you go to that and you're interested in buying this thing, it's not a bad deal. Uh, Coda Boy 32, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform. 24 7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. Look at that thing. That is a good looking optic. Look at that rifle. Mm mm mm. Oh, never mind. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah.